it's time for you to unwind Cause tonight we gonna have a ball, y'all From all over the world, we are bringing you the funniest new comics in Los Angeles Welcome to Love After Dark Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet and make some noise for your host, Luke Ashley! Hey, hey, hey! I'm black, bitches! Uh, I just want to talk about this for a second, you know, because we live in a country right now that's a little racially divided. Right? Was y'all expecting more than that? That's all I was gonna say. I mean, it's slavery. Not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about Kanye. Cause I could, but I won't. I still play his music. Like I'll be bumping that old stuff. And all my black friends are like, why are you still listening to him? But it's what I love. Y'all are very scared to laugh at these slavery jokes. It's okay. It's a lot of white people. You can laugh at slavery. No, you can't. Yeah, I'm lying. I get you. you had to get your ass whooped real fast. All the black people be like, who was that bitch up in the front row with that Ariana Grande ponytail? I'm fucking her up in them toms. Getting that ass. And that's a black woman laughing right there. <laughs> Yo, stay tuned for Sabra May and Ray Easter. Laugh After Dark will be right back. We back. I want y'all to give it up for Sabra May. So I am Chinese, Native American, and white. Thank you. But growing up, I always wished I was just Chinese because Asian women are so beautiful, right? You know, till they hit their Yoda phase. You know what I mean. Cute young Asian girls are all giggly and demure. Suddenly they hit 50 and it's like, hmm? seafood buffet 1099 too expensive it is. Hmm? Now I am from Portland, Oregon. So despite my appearance, I feel very white, you know? And us white people, I mean, you guys know, you especially. We all think we're good people, right? We do meatless Mondays and meditation challenges and pretend we can save the world by not using plastic straws. I even have really white altruistic thoughts. Like, oh my God. If I ever win the lottery, I'm totally gonna give $10,000 to that Hispanic gentleman who sells coconuts by the freeway. <laughs> Sometimes I fantasize about donating things to the homeless people near the Echo Park Bridge. I mean, I could give them things they really need, like art supplies. Oh, or self-help books. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's so loud under there, maybe lean noise-canceling headphones, right? Why? Because I'm white and they're poor, so I have something to teach them. <laughs> now, uh, when you are multi-ethnic, like me, you feel your different ethnicities at different times. And I feel white when I help people. <laughs> right? I feel Native American when I connect with nature, you know? And I feel Chinese, well, anytime my agent says there's a casting for Chinese. <laughs> So I am a new mom, you guys. Oh, thank you. My son is just under a year old. He's very freaking cute. Uh, but I have to admit, I was surprised when I found out I was pregnant. I mean, was I using protection when I got pregnant? No. But was I using protection all the other times I had sex and didn't get pregnant? Like, also no, <laughs> you know? And I have to say that the signs of pregnancy can be super surprising. Like, I got suspicious when I looked down and, oh my God, my nipples are as dark as that Indian girl's I made out with at Coachella. <laughs> I showed them to my English husband and he said, oh my God, it's a sign. We need to find an Indian girl and have a threesome. <laughs> hmm. 
button. I didn't know why my nipples turned dark. I mean, female bodies have a lot going on and it can get very confusing, right, ladies? I mean, our nether regions are basically mysterious caverns of wonder. Who knows what other magical things could be in there? <laughs> Maybe it's me, hmm? <laughs> Eventually, I took a pregnancy test. And I have to tell you guys, those things might be made for women, but they're certainly not made by women. Because figuring out how to pee on just that tiny little stick without peeing all over everything else took more effort than getting pregnant did. <laughs> okay, I'm not a guy. I don't have laser-focused genitals. It's much less of a pew, 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 and much more of a pew. <laughs> And even after the test came out positive, my triple Libra husband, told you I was half white. <laughs> he didn't believe the results. No, he kept making me take more tests. Here, pee on this one. But can you do it slower? Right, here's another. Can I actually film this one? <laughs> Ready for my close-up I am, hmm? <laughs> My husband kept me up all night drinking and peeing on things. Just like our first date. <laughs> But that's okay, because getting piss all over your hands is just preparation for motherhood. <laughs> and I am a really spiritual person, so I think of the circle of life as such a miracle. Like, picture a tiny baby soul up in the clouds of heaven, looking down on me and my life, and saying, Huh, I pick her. Let's give her a reason to stay sober. Because before motherhood, I was a very fun person. <laughs> I traveled all over the world, right? I bungee jumped, I skydived, I had unprotected sex with strangers. <laughs> True story, that is how I met my husband. <laughs> but just to be clear, I was never a drug addict. I mean, I've never even purchased hard drugs because I just get them on trade. <laughs> uh, yo, you wanna buy some blow? Hey, yo, you want to see what an Indian girl's nipples look like? <laughs> but all of that stopped with motherhood, you guys, which is why I almost named my son Spencer. Sorry, <laughs> I mean sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> but even though I'm multi-ethnic and my husband is too, he's half Middle Eastern, somehow our baby came out whiter than a sheet of paper. You know, like, our son is so privileged looking, we should just... I don't know, put him on the Supreme Court. <laughs> now, <laughs> sometimes I look down at my son's pasty white face while nursing, and he's looking up at me like he's so loved and so nurtured. And that is when I pull my olive-toned breast out of his mouth and I say, what? Because you think us Asian women know how to take care of their men? <laughs> Racist old paradigm baby. <laughs> Um, I am trying my hardest in this hashtag Me Too moment to just raise a woke son, right? And that is why I tell him, A is for asses. You only touch with consent. B is for bisexuals and others we accept. C is for cattle, 100% grass-fed. And D, well, that's for democracy, which is basically now dead. I have figured out a way to use my son's privilege to my advantage. Like, picture eh, 11, 12 years in the future, Saturday morning. Mom, why are you making me clean the garage? Reparations, bitch. <laughs> you small white man of East Los Angeles tribe, go clean garage. Mama bear must get day drunk. Thank you so much, you guys. My name is Sabra May. Have a great night. We got more laughs coming straight for your dome. Laugh After Dark, we'll be right back. Yo, give it up for Ray Easton. All right. Got to uh, apologize beforehand. I know I look like a, a crip on a budget. Uh, 
I know. But you know what they say. You dress, for, dress for the job you want, you know. <laughs> Guys, I, uh, I just recently found out uh, I've been using the wrong skin tone emoji in, uh, <laughs> in all of my texts. It's hard to come back from, you know. You misspell a word, you're fine. Uh, you use the wrong skin tone emoji. That takes a minute to process. <laughs> I was texting, uh, you know, one of my boys, and uh, I don't remember what I was saying. It was probably some woke shit. Uh, and I ended it with the black fist emoji. Uh, now, I didn't use the blackest uh, fist emoji. I mean, it do doesn't make sense for me to use the same skin tone that Idris Elba uses, but I used the one right next to that. Uh, and my boy texted, he texted back. He was like, uh, nigga, you ain't that dark. I was like, oh. <laughs> you know, I a heart dropped. <laughs> and I had to text him back. I was like, uh, thank you, Caleb. But you know you can't use that word. It's, <laughs> that's still ours. Yeah, that one stings a little more. It's, but uh, don't worry about Caleb. Uh, he's, he's one of the good ones. <laughs> and joke is only for certain people. <laughs> I get that a lot, though. A lot of people look at me and they think I'm mixed. Uh, I was actually hanging out at one of the comedy clubs out here, uh, and I was just, you know, minding my own business, and a guy walks up to me just randomly, and he goes, hey, uh, do you have a white parent? Which I feel is like an odd way to start off a conversation. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Uh, no, if, if you guys were thinking that. No, just to answer your question. Uh, and I told him, nope, uh, both of my parents are black. They just also happen to be light-skinned. Uh, so I came out looking like this. Sorry to disappoint, or whatever. <laughs> and he goes, oh, no, no, that's cool, man. No, for a second there, uh, I thought she were one of those Milanos. <laughs> All right, a couple people caught that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I believe the term he was looking for uh, was mulatto, uh, which is a racial slur for somebody who's half black and half white. Uh, or he just thought I was a cookie. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to blame that guy. You know? It's like when I was growing up in high school, like a lot of the white kids would call me an Oreo. So I just grew up assuming that all white people just see black people as different brands of cookies. <laughs> To be honest, they kind of got me doing it too, because like every time I see like an old black dude, I'm like, oh, look, there's a famous Amos right there. Look at <laughs> no. Same face on the bag and everything. <laughs> Someone's ate those cookies before. <laughs> but yeah, I still get that a lot. Uh, I, I'm currently uh, living in uh, Koreatown right now. Yeah, somebody almost laughed at just that. Uh, I take it you've been there before. Uh, but I was having this conversation uh, with this uh, older white lady, and I mentioned that I lived uh, in, uh, in Koreatown, and she goes, oh, Koreatown, wow, are you, uh, are you half Korean? I was like, nope, uh, I don't know where you would uh, come up with that idea, uh, but no. Uh, and she goes, oh, you know, it's... It's Koreatown, you know. I just assume the people that live there might be Korean. It's like, oh, funny, uh, you brought that up. Uh, actually, I couldn't find a place in nigga town that was... <laughs> <laughs> it was quite in my price range. And she was like, oh, you mean Compton? I'm like, all right. <laughs> that is what I meant, actually, yeah. I didn't get offended though. Uh, that is uh, actually one of my greatest joys in life. Is like when I see like an older white person uh, say something you know pretty offensive and racist, uh, and not realize that they're saying it. Because uh, I did that joke one time uh, in Orange County. Uh, yeah, you know where this is going. Uh, <laughs> did that joke out in Orange County, and this older white gentleman comes up to me. He was like, "Hey, you know, I really like that one joke you do. You know." The one about you living in uh, Chinatown? <laughs> I was like, nope, it's, uh, it's Koreatown, actually. And he goes, ah, you know. <laughs> I mean, all those towns look alike to me, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't. <laughs> I 
I think you need to get out more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can always count on this side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> No, I uh, I am, but yeah, that's uh, the takeaway from this set is uh, fully black. Uh, so I get all the perks of being a black man in America, you know? Like I get to say the N word whenever I want to. It's pretty dope. Well, that's about it, actually. It's, <laughs> it's about all I can think of. Right now. But the N word, that's a tricky one though. That's, uh, it can be a fun one, quite entertaining. <laughs> Uh, here's a quick question, just out of pure curiosity. Uh, has anybody ever used the N-word to win a game of Scrabble? No? Just me? So I'm the only one fun at parties? Okay. I did that one time. It was perfect. It was right on the board. Uh, there was an N-I, or two spaces. Uh, and an ER, and I had just drawn two Gs. I was like, oh, I know where these are going. <laughs> uh, and I was playing against a white guy too, so I don't think I've seen anybody sweat so much <laughs> my entire life. And she's freaking out, looking at the board like, what, man, you can't use that word? I'm like, no, you can't use that <laughs> word. But should probably read that rule book again, it's in there. I was playing with Caleb at the time, just <laughs> from earlier. I, uh, I, I don't know, I've, I've noticed, uh, you know, in 2018, racism is uh, it's getting a lot dumber now. I don't know if you guys <laughs> noticed that. It's not, as, it's not as fresh as it was back in the, in, in the good old days, as I said. <laughs> I noticed that I was, uh, I, was driving, I was driving out here. I'm from the Washington, D.C. area. And I drove out here to California. So, and I, I drove through, uh, I took the southern route. So, obviously, I was driving through all the racist states. Uh, a quick travel tip, uh, Louisiana hates everybody. I don't know if you, know if you know that. Keep that in mind next time you're in Louisiana and you're just anything, really. <laughs> But I was driving through and I saw uh, possibly the strangest bumper sticker I had ever seen driving out there. It was on the back of this pickup truck. Uh, it was racist against Asian people. Uh, and I have a theory. Uh, if you're racist uh, against Asian people, I don't want to know your opinions on black people because it's probably a little worse. I was driving in and this, big, uh, this bumper sticker had read, uh, this pickup truck was built with wrenches not chopsticks. Huh. Yeah, it's a real bumper sticker you can buy. Uh, and it would have made sense had it not been on the back of a Toyota. Uh, <laughs> it was like, Toyota? It was, it was basically driving a rickshaw at that point. <laughs> All right, that's my time, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I know you're not going anywhere, right? Laugh at the dark, we'll be right back. Y'all had a good time? Yeah, you're gonna go out there and not be racist tonight, right? Okay, she had to think about it. She did, she was like, ah, I think I know, I think, yes. Yes. Still can't say, no, you can't. No, you can't. Nigga, 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 nigga. It's a cute little nigga, yes it is. White people, you're laughing way, way too hard at that one. Yo, I'm your host, Luke Ashley. Thanks for watching. Drive home safely. Love people of all colors, sizes, shapes, and sexes. Until next time, peace!